hello everyone welcome to our channel aspire sfdc so in this video i am going to tell you the maintenance of the pd1 certification winter 23 so here there is a two modules this is the first one maintain your pd1 certification and the another one get hands on with apex assertions so let's start with first one i have already completed this pd1 maintenance so in this there's a few changes that have been introduced so this is first one after save record triggered flows approval and time based workflow field updates there are few changes that uh, salesforce is going to introduce so in this uh, in this module there are few mcq type questions once you uh, complete this then this module will be completed and you will get few points so this is a very easy one you will get this completed after giving answer of few questions that is mcq types let's move to another one here here is uh, some hands on so actually uh, when we write test classes then i use system.assert system.assert equals system.assert not equals so these these few methods have been replaced with new methods the name is assert dot dot r equal assert dot is true assert dot is false actually overall the point is a system dot assert is replaced with assert dot and then is true is false so in this uh, module there is a apex class and there is a test class so you need to replace all the system dot assert methods to assert dot is true or assert dot is false So let me retake this challenge. So here you will see that to create an apex class for this uh, challenge, you need to create an apex class that is a test factory. Then create an apex class that is a test class uh, that is a data generation test. And then copy and paste data generation test. Because if you see above, then this is a data generation test. You need to copy this and paste to the data generation test class and then replace all the system dot assert method with the new assert class then it will be completed then let's do it So I have opened my uh, trailhead playground. Now open developer console. So this one create an apex class test factory i have already completed this one so my test factory class is already written here i have already created a test factory so here you can see it is already created so what you need to do create a apex class test factory then go above this is a test factory class copy this one copy this class and paste here let me do it copy this class and paste here
it is saved now next one data generation test create one class data generation test it is already written because i have already completed this module data generation test so once you create this class go above this is a data generation test copy this one copy this whole class and paste here and paste here so now if you see here in this class you will see system dot assert system dot assert system dot assert system dot assert not equals system dot assert equals so here we need to replace this system dot assert methods with assert methods so i have already done if you see my test class the class is same so here system dot assert is replaced with assert dot is true assert dot is true assert dot is true and assert not equal assert dot are not equal assert dot are equal so i have replaced system dot assert with assert dot is true are not equal and or, or equal so this is uh, so, so so this test class is completed now so so after uh, completing this test class click on check challenge then your challenge will be completed So here my PD1 certification maintenance is completed.